Shalom, shalom, shalom to the hopeful elect of Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopefully let scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth around me a fellow servant Malakia. all right i'm going to go ahead and get into another lesson today <clears throat> uh this lesson is going to be going into uh you know casting your burdens upon the lord um you know whether you know how the lord you know deems it you know because you know like the scripture says man's goings is of the lord all right, so these different trials, these different tribulations, these different things that may come upon you uh, while you're in this truth, you know, while you're serving after Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right, there is going to be some things that's going to come into your life to where it's going to feel uh, burdensome, okay? But as the scripture says, you know, the Lord says that for you to cast all your, uh, your burdens, all right, upon him. All right, we're going to get into that a little bit later on through this lesson. But first off, let me go ahead and get into that word um, burden. Okay, uh, this is the entomology online, the word burden. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it says a burden. Now it says a load that which is born or carried a load, a weight, charge or duty. Uh, a child can also be a, a, a burden. Uh, it says, uh, which is born, uh, says to carry, also to bear children. Let me go a little bit more deeper. Yeah. And that's pretty much the point on it. But the word burden going into a, a load, uh, something that is of a, a weighty matter. Okay. And, you know, a lot of people may have these things uh, that can weigh upon them, weigh upon their minds. Uh, you know, a load such as, you know, a job, um, it could be finances, uh, it could be car problems, it could be family problems, uh, it can just be any anything that's in general here in this lifetime uh, while we're still here serving our captivity here in Babylon the Great, all right? But this is why we're supposed to pray unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, so that he can take this heavy load, this heavy weight, all right, that's upon us, all right, and cast all our cares upon him, okay, so let's go ahead and jump into uh, some scriptures, all right, you know, Lord willing, you know, this lesson is edifying to you, Akim, all right, so this is the book of Psalm, chapter 55, and verse 22, cast thy burden upon the Lord, you know, cast your weights, cast, cast that heavy load upon the Lord, it says, and he shall sustain thee, he shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. All right. The Lord's not going to have it to where the righteous is going to be moved to where they are going to be unstable in their mind uh, to where they're not going to be able to get through uh, whatever uh, it is uh, for them to get through. Because the scripture also says that he's not going to uh, put anything more than what you can bear. Uh, let me see. No more. You bear. Let's see. Here it is. This is the book of John 15, verse 4. Abide in me, and I in you. As the bear oh, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye except ye abide in me. And that's not it. But yeah, you know, and that's that's a good point too, right there. All right. If you're not abiding in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, how are you able to cast your uh, uh, burdens upon him? All right. You have to abide in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. OK, let me see. Um, no more that. Let me see. Let me see. Handle. So lock you. All right. Let's go to this one. Let's see. Handle. No more. So lock it. Let me see. No more I can bear. Oh, man. So lock it. Let me see. 
you can be KJV. So lock it. Let me get that. There it is. Just the book of First Corinthians 10 and 13. It says, There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. All right. So all the different things, trials, tribulations, the different temptations that come into your life. All right. All these things are uh, uh, common. All right. With men. It says, but the most high is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. All right. So the things that you're going through, the Lord knows your spirit. He knows that you're going to be able to uh, get past these things. All right. It may seem burdensome, burdensome unto you. All right. But really, you know, it all dies down to you, you know, praying to your how about Shemiah All right. So that way he can help you. All right. The Lord puts you through, through different things will put us through different things so that what we may be able to call upon him. OK, it says, let me go back to it, it says who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape. All right. See, the Lord's going to he, he hey, man's going is of the Lord. All right. The Lord's going to have you be probably put into a situation. All right. Maybe a, a temptation or, or some type of burdensome, some type of weight that's going to come towards you. All right. But he's going to make it to be able a way for you to escape that ye may be able to bear it. All right. See, the Lord's going to put a spirit on you that way that you're going to be able to bear the things of what he put you through. All right. It's just, it's a chastisement. It's, it's, it's something that's it's to build you up. Not for you to be crying and having a, the woe is me spirit. OK, because you how about Shimei Abishai, he puts us through these different trials, these different tests. OK, to build us. All right. So that he can build our faith. All right. So where we're able to always to call upon him. OK, so let's jump back uh, to the book of Psalm. <clears throat> Psalms, what, 27? Mm. And verse 14. That's the book of Psalms 27, verse 14. It reads, it says, Wait on the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. He's going to strengthen you, strengthen your mind to where you're going to be able to be stable. It says, wait, I say on the Lord, always wait upon your how by Shem Yahweh uh, Shai. Let me get that in uh, the book of uh, Sirach right quick. So this is the book <clears throat> of Sirach chapter 2. In verse 1, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thine heart aright and constantly endure. And make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. All right, because it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that's putting you through these things. All right, he's putting that there, that heavy uh, uh, burdensome, all right, that's upon you. All right, but it's for you to call upon the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay, rejoice, all right, because the Lord is dealing with you. He's putting you through these different uh, tests, these different trials. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. All right, so many times when you come to serve the Lord, you're going to be put into different situations to where, <clears throat> uh, to where you're going to be to a low estate. You may feel down. You may feel a little depressed. But always remember the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. To cast your burdens upon him. All right. So let's jump to the book of Psalm. <clears throat> Psalm 62. Oh, so lucky. Psalms. <clears throat> Psalm 62 and verse 8. It says. Well, we can start at verse 7. Well. And verse six. Okay. And verse five. <laughs> this is the book of Psalm 62, verse five. My soul, wait thou only upon the most high. 
for my expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. All right. You're not going to be moved from the state, whatever the Lord has you in. All right. He's not going to put different things upon you to where you're going to be able to uh, to be moved. OK. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has care unto his elect. He has care unto uh, his people, especially the ones, uh, 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 especially in this time, the ones that's uh, returning back to him. The ones that's repenting, you don't think that he's going to hear your prayers? Cast your burdens upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh All right? He is our rock. He is our defense. All right? The scripture says in, um, I believe it's Proverbs 18 and 10, uh, that how the Lord, all right, the name of the Lord is, is as a strong tower. All right? The righteous runneth uh, in it. All right? And it's safe. So, you know, when you call upon the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, that's going to be your defense. All right. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai said in the book of Isaiah 41, he said that what? He will fight for you. Verse 7 In the Most High is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in the Most High. Trust in him at all times, ye people. Pour out your heart before him. The most high is, is a refuge for us. Salah. All right. Yahweh Bashim Shai is a refuge for us to where we're able to call upon his name. All right. To where he's a where to where he's able to get us out of the certain situations that may come in our lives. You know, you may not have a job right now, or you may have lost family or you know, your family may be going through it or, you know, you know, whatever it is. Yeah, how about Shem Yahweh Shai? All right. He wants you to pour out your uh, your heart unto him before him. Pray to him. All right. To take these different uh, burdensome uh, things that's in your life. All right. Pray to him. All right. And he will. Uh, 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 open a way for you to be able to escape he will he will make it to where you're able to bear these things so that you may be able to keep continuing to serve him these things that come into our life is not to destroy us <clears throat> destroy us it's to build us okay let's jump to the book of matthew chapter 11 and verse 28 it reads it says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Turn to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. So let me read that again. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your souls. You see, you got many people, they go through these different burdensome trials and things, but they don't have rest unto their souls because they are constantly, constantly uh, uh, thinking about, you know, the situations that they're in. OK, but always cast your cares upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. He says for us to come unto him, all the ones that's laboring, the ones that are heavy laden. And the Lord said he is going to give us rest. He's going to give our hearts, all right, rest, our souls rest. It says, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Okay? So serving at the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is a beautiful thing, man. Let me get uh, one more scripture if we can close out here. This is the book of Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 and verse 7. It says... God, verse six, it says, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto the most high. Pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to help take the uh, that that burdensome load from off of you. Put your cares upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Cast your burdens upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Let your request be known unto the Most High. Pray to Him. 
All right. So what we all supposed to be doing, speaking to myself first and foremost, whenever I see myself in a situation, I, I pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I make my request be known unto him. It says, verse seven, and the peace of the most high, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. The Lord is going to keep our hearts and our minds through our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right. So always look towards the east. Always pray towards the east. Pray towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That he take these uh, uh, different burdens. All right. That comes into, into your life. All right. And cast it all upon him. All right. There's nothing too big nor too small for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. And he will bring rest unto your souls. All right. So, you know, this is for those, you know, who may have a, a, a time of being in that lower state or being in that time of having uh, some burdensome uh, things that come into their life. But it's all these things is to build you up, to build your faith. All right. In Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And for you to cast your cares upon him and for you to call upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So always call upon the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. He will leave. Uh, 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 well, he always lead you. He will lead you. Salaki, he will lead you. All right. To have rest unto your souls. All right. So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you. Akim and Akwakdim. All right. I want to give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Who have taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopefully let scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. I'm your fellow servant, Malachia. Shalom.